The internet is flooded with many different marketing automation softwares. Most of them are claiming they can solve your problems, grow your business, and help you to save time and make more money. It's not a surprise that sometimes it can be confusing to find out which marketing automation software is the best for a small business, especially specifically for your business that will really help you instead of wasting your time and money. And that's why I'm going to share with you the framework I've been using in the past decades to pick the best marketing automation tools specifically for my business. I hope it will help you as much as it helps us. My name is Istvan Bujdasu and this is the 47 Marketing Show that reveals marketing automation strategies for busy entrepreneurs to get more done in less time in digital marketing and business. Let's get started with the first and most important tip. Number one, get super clear. Either you are looking for a software to solve one of your problems or to achieve a specific goal, it is absolutely fundamental to become super clear about your problem and goals before you start looking for any tools as the solution. Otherwise, there is a good chance you will end up wasting time and money on marketing automation softwares that are not good for you. Number two, first impression, head over to the website of the tool, scroll through the website, see the general look and feel, get your first impression without making any final decision. Number three, the big promise, check if the software promises to solve your specific problem or to help you to achieve your goals. Obviously, even if the promise is there, it's not a guarantee it will really work, but it is a good sign and shows the potential of that marketing automation tool. Number four, other claims. After you see it can potentially help you, have a look around to see what other benefits does the tool claim to give you because you may see something that can be the solution to other problems you have or it can replace one or more of your current tools or it can serve you more it can save you more time and money than you expected at first glance the extra benefits or the lack of them can help you to make your decision later number five can it work for you at this stage we are still looking for the potential of the marketing automation tool unless if it's a rare case and a super niche software that clearly states it only works for a specific industry it's not yet time to make the final decision research the site for signs that shows it can potentially work for you things like your industry or similar ones, keywords that refer to similar businesses like yours, and check, the, check out the reviews if you can see similar people like you who achieved success with the tool, and then carry on to check the following things to get the full picture. Before we move on, if you enjoyed this episode so far, then gently turn that like button into blue, uh, which is a great way to support us to create more videos just like this one. Thank you for clicking, the, clicking on the like button and now let's continue. Number six, social proof. Besides that the reviews can show you if, if it may work for you, they can also give you a picture of the overall experience with the marketing automation tool and the company. If you see a lot of bad reviews, tens, hundreds of bad reviews, only bad reviews, then run. Uh, most of the time you will see good and bad reviews as well. When you read the bad reviews, pay attention if it feels like coming from a hater who wants to tear down the company, or if it feels like an authentic feedback listing the good and the bad things as well and take the good reviews with a pinch of salt. They show you, a, show you the potential. Obviously, they are not guarantees, but good signs. Check out how many people are using the tool. If a lot of people, that's one good point. Still not a, good, still not a deal maker. Number seven, the age. Check how old the tool is. If it's relatively new, 
the social proof may come from the early hype of the tool and may not reflect the reality. On the other hand, if the marketing automation software has been around for a while and shows a long-term steady success, that's a better sign. Number eight, the tricky price. The price is a tricky element. Taking a quick look at the number and making a decision based on that is overlooking a lot of important things. The three big questions are, first, what is included in the price? In my experience, it is common that you can't see all the values you get until you actually try the software, research the areas that only members can access, and research the community of the tool. And only after that, you can get the full picture on what is included in the price. Second, are there any hidden charges? The obvious one, check if the price is one-off or recurring. And the other one really pisses me off when the company uses an unclear pricing structure that is hard to understand. You, can see, you can't see the total fees upfront and you end up being charged more than you expected. I experienced this with quite a few big names in the hosting industry. They advertise low prices for the hosting and when an experienced user goes for it, they face the unpleasant surprise of needing to order an email address, security or other things separately. And then from the second year, everything is on a higher price and they end up being charged more than they expected. Uh, so make sure the marketing automation tool you are researching has a clear, simple and transparent pricing. And the third big question is, are updates and future features included? It's definitely a plus point when the company is constantly improving the tool and the related materials and you are getting more and more value for the same money over time. Number nine, the trial. As I mentioned it earlier, you can't get the full picture of a marketing automation software until you try it out. So check out if there is a trial and see how it works exactly. 7, 14 or 30 day trial. Is it free trial or a low priced one? Do they give you full access or only limited access? Do they ask for your credit card upfront and you need to cancel it if you don't want to be charged? Or can you try it without a credit card? Before you put in your credit card details, make sure the site is using HTTPS so the connection is secure. And if you can pay via PayPal, use it as an extra level of security. Number 10, money back guarantee. Either there is a trial or not, check if there is a money back guarantee and what the terms are. You can even double check their refund policy in their terms and conditions. If there is no trial, but there is a money back guarantee, this is the way of trying the marketing automation software out at low risk. If the company and the tool have been around for a while and mainly you can see positive reviews on social media, in Google and in their community, no complaints about refunds, then give the tool a try. And if you don't like it, cancel it and you will get your money back. This is my way of thinking. Obviously, calculate your risk before you pay. These are the things I check before trying out a new marketing automation tool, plus 10 other things during the trial. When you are trying out a new software, be ready to invest a good amount of time into the research and the trial to get the full picture before making any final decisions. There is no point just spending 15-20 minutes clicking around in a software, throwing it away and trying another tool, then another tool, then another one. Not only you will waste your time, but also you can miss out on the right tools that way. I'm conscious about the time, so these were the first 10 of the 20 tips to find the best marketing automation tools for a small business. In the next episode, we will continue and complete the rest of the tips 
10 important things to check during the trials. If you enjoyed this video, click on the like button. It helps the channel a bit and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified of the future videos just like this one. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.